Hi, Zindan Media. Welcome to our house. This is a 2400 square feet apartment at May Road, and we have been staying here for the last five years. My name is Rupi, and I stay with my husband, Pankaj. Hi, and we have two lovely daughters. Uh, my father also stays with us. Currently, he's back home in India. And we have our lovely poodle, Coco, and our lovely helper, Fanny. So please come on in. So this is our living room. Uh, my husband and I really like hosting our friends and we are lucky enough to have a lot of friends. So we usually have uh, our parties all, all around here. I know the seating is, uh, is probably a little less when we have more people. So what we do is we have some, uh, you know, ground seating over here, the typical Indian style, which we call Bethuk. So we have it over there and we move the chair so it gives us a lo lot of space. And uh, this, of course, uh, usually people have uh, their uh, swings outside, but uh, we have this inside because this is the favorite place of my little dog, uh, little poodle Coco. And plus it also adds, uh, you know, a very soft element to the entire uh, living room. Um, you know, one thing that I would like to share is that uh, most of this furniture is from India. So when we moved from India uh, five years back, uh, we actually decided that, uh, you know, we are going to furnish our house from furniture from India. The only thing which is from my original house is this chair. And, uh, you know, a little backstory about this chair is, uh, it's been uh, with us in our old house for now about, I think, 15 years. And this was my favorite chair because when I used to come back from work, I used to sit on it, relax, have my tea and then continue working again because, you know, I used to come back early, my kids were small and then I used to work from home. Okay, so this is the most beautiful spot in our house and this is something which uh, caught my eye and my first love, this uh, beautiful balcony. If you, uh, the, you see the sky and the sea, the colors change throughout the day. So when I am stressed, I work from home, I usually come and stand here and seeing the different hues of blue actually de-stresses me. And of course, um, you know, it's also a great spot for making my Instagram Reels because I am a lifestyle blogger. As you see that, uh, you know, we have a lot of empty spaces in the house and the entire decor is white. I always wanted a white decor even in India, but you know, because of, uh, uh, because of the maintenance issues, I probably could not get it here. So when we moved here, we were very clear that our decor should be white. Plus, uh, you know, considering the view that we had, we wanted our house to be, to be an extension of the view outside, right? That there should not be, there should not be a bifurcation in what people are seeing outside and what they're seeing inside. So it should flow in, a, uh, it, there should be a continuity. And if we would have put in a lot of furniture and a lot of color, different colors, I think we would have broken that continuity. But yes, we did want some color in the house. So, you know, we have these elements which we have picked up uh, predominantly from India because uh, um, we still want to carry our culture with us. Okay, so now let me take you to my uh, dining space. Uh, this is the place where mostly our family conversations and arguments happen because I have two teenage daughters and you can imagine how it is. Okay, this one is, uh, is a favorite piece of furniture. I didn't get this from India. and This is uh, basically uh, one of the latest editions. I wanted something to, you know, display my entire crockery, which I've collected over the years. And I think IKEA uh, stuff is very functional and it provided me exactly, uh, you know, the kind of uh, decor that I wanted. White, minimalistic and going with everything else in the house. When we moved in here, we found this spot very nice and spacious and we realized that there is a wet kitchen and a dry kitchen and we then kind of built this place to declutter our kitchen and then we found few characters to this place so we went to IKEA which has been which is what the theme you've been hearing right we've been getting a lot of functional stuff from there we picked up these bar stools so it kind of becomes a nice cozy place when I have friends over and people want to kind of just spread out they just come here, take a drink, and of course, uh, this bar of mine, which again is very precious to me, not only because of the contents inside, but also because it snugly fitted into this space and gave it a character. Uh, this is also picked up from IKEA. 
Come, I'll take you to my daughter's room. No prizes for guessing uh, what she does. So she is uh, she is an avid musician. She just loves to play, compose. Uh, she she's kind of got this uh, liking to pursue music as a career. That's why you see all the guitars and the uh, Casio here in her room. Uh, being teenagers, we didn't have really an option to design their room. So you see, whatever you see here reeks of her character and her personality. Uh, we let them do it because uh, when we moved here, they were both at a stage where they were forming and shaping and we wanted them to really take the liberties and the freedom to form and shape. I think it's come out uh, very well. We find a lot of warmth. We enjoy when they enter their room. There is a lot of softness with the soft toys. So the child is still very much alive in them. And of course, she didn't want a bed. She wanted a floor bed and we didn't interfere with that decision either because it kind of uh, you know suits us as well. So my elder daughter moved to the university in August of 2023. So she's lived in this house for almost, I would say, four years. Uh, and this is her room, right? And you can see from a, from a personality standpoint, it's a very different room. You can see a lot of pieces of art. Uh, this is all created by her. This is her project in school that she created. So uh, no prizes for guessing again that she is an art student right now. She's studying art. Uh, her liking, her choices have been very different uh, compared to my younger daughter. Uh, but that's what gives us a very good diverse flavors in the house of two different kids. But yeah, both are artistically inclined. So to that extent, they are very, very similar. Uh, they, they kind of bond very, very closely. So that's a big, big highlight for us. Okay, so let's go to the master bedroom. Uh, so this is our master bedroom. I think the first thing you'll notice is that it's not kind of filled up. There are a lot of empty spaces around. The same hues continue, white, little bit of creams. And uh, of course, our paintings and the photographs. A few favorite uh, things over here is my little dressing table. So when I came, there was no dressing table. I just got this uh, little cabinet for my makeup, but I felt that, you know, um, there was something missing. So I created this small space. Again, this is a place where I make a lot of my Insta Reels. So the people who are following me will now recollect this space. And the second, uh, I think my favorite place over here is my workstation. I, as I said, I work from home and the whole day I'm sitting in front of my laptop and working. So I needed something to, uh, you know, de-stress myself and rejuvenate and I think getting greens on the side has has really uh, you know helped me uh, while I'm working during the day and I think it's a de-stressor when I take care of these plants water them you know every week so this is of course one of my uh, favorite uh, corners in the house because I spend a huge amount of time every day sitting on this chair and working on my laptop Okay, so I'll give you a sneak peek into my closet. Well, it's not the neatest of place, but I would really want to show you how we maximize place here. So when we got the house, we just got this little cabinet and there was nothing here. So we had to make space. I think uh, again, IKEA came to our rescue. So we got a lot of these storage baskets, uh, you know, these storage cabinets. And this one, especially, uh, it's actually not from IKEA, it's from Amazon for, uh, for hanging my purses. What I like over here is that these are, you know, transparent yet covered. So, you know, I can see which purse I want and uh, it's really, really handy. So, yeah, this is uh, this is how we've we've made space and, uh, you know, getting things uh, which are economical and also uh, suits what we need at that point in time. So when we actually came into this house, uh, the one thing that foxed us quite a lot was the size of the kitchen. We come from an Indian family. Uh, Indian families, uh, the whole family is inside the kitchen when cooking is going on, right? But this kitchen was definitely not designed to accommodate more than one person. And then you have the, the refrigerators, the microwave and the ovens here and a lot of storage, which again is so, so critical in an Indian home uh, where cooking is one of the key things that we do for a living. Similarly here, uh, they've very nicely created the space, which again has, you know, it, it kind of fits into the whole thing so well that 
at the face of it you would not know that there is so much space inside but uh, but yeah you know at times i wonder just because there is space we've been filling stuff and that's how things just get keep getting accumulated so we moved here in 2019 of october uh, it was a big decision for us because we were moving out of india after 46 years of living there uh and all of us were disrupting uh, our lives uh, she was leaving her job of 17 years uh i was moving in with my parents uh, who both of them were uh, you know almost 80 years plus and both the daughters were going to uh, change school and country and friends and everything so it was a very big decision there's one thing that we were very clear that we needed a space which kind of settles us uh, uh very easily and the only one thing that we wanted in a house that we are going to move in was space uh, that's because all our uh, years that we've spent in india we had a house where there was enough amount of space because we lived in a joint family throughout our lives so that was a very important consideration so yeah so we 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 liked the space and um, our our motto all, always has been to lead a tea cluttered life whether it is in the house or in the mind so at the stage that we are uh, you know we we felt that our house should reflect that and that's why you see a very non cluttered place around i i think the other thing which is important to note is uh, the girls were at a stage where i was mentioning to you about they were forming and shaping so uh, when they were back home in india they used to share a room we were very clear when we moved here uh, they were both well into their teens so we wanted to give them space so that they can build their own character their own personality uh, this house even ticked that box both of them got their independent rooms and they could you know create their own character with the room right so Yeah, I think it's been a great fifth year journey. We have been here for 5 years. Uh we really love the place, love the vibe and love the whole condo, uh the kind of people that we met here, the kind of facilities that it offers, the proximity to public transport, everything. I think it, this is really been uh one of the highlights of our last 5 years in Singapore. <laughs>